pull open a power window here, you know, you feather it out and then you invert it. Notice we're not actually seeing an increase in blurriness. We're just kind of seeing two layers, a sharp layer and a blurred layer, and they're just fading over each other. And this isn't just a problem in theory. Let me show you what this looks like when we apply it to actual footage. Do you see how it's not really progressing from sharp to slightly blurry to slightly more than to the complete blur? This is a massive issue and looks super cheap, but there actually is another blur effect in DaVinci Resolve, the tilt shift effect. Basically in node one, we have just exactly like what I had before, a power window in the shape of a vignette. However, we're taking the key output and pumping it into the second triangle, which under the depth of field for the tilt shift blur effect, we can take the map source from the second input. All of a sudden, blur is now increasing. It is moving dynamically. Let's do a little comparison. There's the before and there's the after. Isn't it a mind-blowing difference?